Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Today's video is a quick hack on using task queues inside your sequences and workflows. So if you haven't watched the video about task queues, go back and watch that, but we're gonna show you how to level that up just a little bit here in HubSpot. So task queues, we've got an ABC trade show set up here as an example, and I'm gonna take you over to the sequences area. So when you're creating a sequence, you can create an opportunity to add a task inside of that cadence of activities. So again, if you're new to sequences or you need a brush up sort of like training course, we've got a HubSpot sequences training video for you to watch. But here inside of sequences, you can add a task to then be added to your task list inside of HubSpot. Well, what happens if you send out 5,000 emails in a month using sequences? Oh, you're gonna run into 5,000 tasks that are just all over the place. So if this sequence, let's say, is related specifically to ABC Trade Show, so the sequences following up on everybody who was at the trade show, I can actually choose in my sequences in Pro and Enterprise, Sales Pro Enterprise, um, you can choose to add them to a specific queue. So what's awesome about this is if they get to the point in this sequence where automatic tasks are being scheduled, I can say, I want this task to go into the queue trade show. Now I'm gonna click on save. So what would happen is if we enrolled someone into this sequence, we can't right now because we don't have any live data, but if we enrolled someone into this sequence and they went through the first couple of emails and didn't respond and you were labeled to, to send them a text message, it would actually then show up here under tasks and it would be in the ABC trade show queue. And again, to remind you, when you have a queue, it pulls up all of the tasks for that specific day in your queue right here. So. Awesome, awesome. I love this little hack. You can use it to maximize productivity and make it so that you're in that compartment when you're following up with folks automatically from your sequences. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and let us know how else you might be using sequences or where you wanna see a shortcut. We'll see you next week.